Hey guys, Badger here from BTEC IT Solutions. Quick one today for those of you running the latest Windows Insider builds. Uh, Microsoft is aware of a problem with the uh, xiinputs.sys file. It causes a green screen for your Xbox remote controller. As soon as you plug it in or you start it up, you get a, a green or blue screen, depending on the case. Um, as you can see, I'm running build 20152, which is the latest and I am getting that issue suddenly. All right, so to fix it, check in the description for the link. Uh, you will see the update catalog is here. So what we're going to do is we are just going to actually downgrade the drivers to a 2017 version, this does work. Um, so we hit download and the new dialog pops up, click on the cab file. All right, it's completed, let me open this. And you'll see there's the actual cabinet file so i'm just going to extract it because i need one of the files in the middle there all right so we we require this file to be replaced on your machine okay so what you do is you go to your my computer uh, go to this pc c windows system 32 drivers and you'll see there's your x input as you can see, I've already got a couple of old files here that I was just testing with. All right, so this is the, the file that's giving us the issue. So what we do here is we rename it to say, for example, input old. Okay, so continue. Now, if you do get a trusted installer uh, error, basically a permission error there, what you do is you right click on the file, say properties, we go to security, go to advanced, change the owner from trusted installer to your username. So as you saw now, I clicked on change, go to advanced, click on find now, choose my username, say okay, apply, yep, okay. All right, let me click on edit, click on my username, say full control, apply, yep. Okay, okay, and there you go. Now, as you saw, I can already change the names. That's only if you do get a, a problem with the trusted installer there. Uh, all right, so now we go back to our cab file there that we've extracted, and we say move to drivers, continue, done. Right, now, if you restart your machine and you plug in your Xbox controller, it should be working now. To be on the safe side, what we're going to do, so I'm just going to show you, if we right click on this PC, click on manage, click on device manager, human interface devices. Now mine won't show up now because I am actually using mine currently, uh, which just proves that this does work. So what you're looking for here is a USB input device and the XI input device. That shows you that there's a problem. So we say view, show hidden devices, and then you should see it pop up there. Right click on that XI input, say uninstall, and then reboot your machine. Now when it reboots, it's just going to hook this new XI input.sys file and install it and your Xbox remote should now be working. All right, guys, I hope that helped some of you. It shows how it helped me. I was pulling my hair out for a couple of days now. Um, anyways, like if you liked the video, dislike it if you didn't. And then, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.